I don't know how long it's been since I did like a hair growth update, but like for real, I just feel like like my eyebrows grew in so much. And like I haven't plucked any of my eyebrows yet besides like right here. But like, look at them. And like my eyelashes. They're like super tiny right now, but they're getting like pretty full. I don't know. Ooh. So exciting in my hair. My hair is almost like thick enough to like, I don't know, to like fill in like these, I don't know, they're not like bald spots, but they're like not as thick parts, like right here. Yeah. Oh, my mirror's disgusting, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's a hair update. Mm, yeah, look at my eyebrows. Okay, so... I just want to say I'm sorry it's taken this long to uh, like upload all my videos and updates like during radiation there really wasn't much to talk about because even though I was going every day it was just sort of like me going down laying down being very still and then it was done I didn't really get any actual like side effects um from my radiation until after my radiation was over and probably like two weeks after that so you'll see in the next couple of clips that my skin started to peel a little bit after and then it like progressively got worse. I didn't really make any videos about it, but I do have some pictures that I'll just shove into the video somewhere. But other than that, like radiation was pretty uneventful, which is why I don't have lots of video clips about it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there wasn't too much to say so I just have a few clips in there to share with you guys and hopefully it's helpful so I've been officially off radiation for a week now and um, I just wanted to like give an update on like the way my skin is I'm gonna try to do this without showing as much and so my radiation kind of goes through my body right through to this side right here so this area right here is also um, like affected and I'm actually getting more um, like side effects right here. I guess I have like skin peeling like more along like my bikini line area. But as of right here, like I don't actually have any skin peeling. It's not sensitive. It's not even itchy. Trying to like cover up as much as possible. but. Like see like right here where my bikini line starts it's missing lots of skin has like peeled so, yeah. i hope that was good enough that i don't have to censor anything out but that's sort of what i'm dealing with right now i have um four to six weeks to wait before i get surgery so it's pretty much just like the waiting game, waiting till like my skin heals up and stuff before I can get surgery. So that's it so far. So I don't know when the last time I did a hair update, um, but I just want to show like how thick my hair is. Like I'm pretty sure it's all just like grown in. Like. That's more hair. My eyebrows, my eyebrows are pretty much like, you know, this is what they looked like before. So like, I don't have like super, super thick eyebrows, but they're like pretty much all grown in now. I haven't plucked any of them besides like the middle. So this is like, sort of what they all look like. Um, my eyelashes, my eyelashes are still like, I have small eyelashes anyways, but I think they need to grow a little bit more to be back where they were. Crazy. <laughs> Cheese. So it's been a while since I did a video. Um, this is what my hair looks like. It's like fully thickened up. 
it's all good. over. What the? So, um, I don't know. It's uh, probably about like the length of like the first like knuckle joint, I guess. Maybe maybe a little shorter. Oh, no, it's about like the first joint. But, yeah, it's all thickened up. It's growing really good. This is what my eyebrows look like. This is like the thickness of like my eyebrows before I had chemo. I haven't plucked any of them besides like the center gear. So this is how they've grown in. That's them. Um, um, yeah, like my hair growth seems to be all up to speed now. Everything's yeah. all thickened up and not patchy anymore. So that's it.